continue to bomb North Africa. That's gonna be good. crazy how OP strategic bombing is. <laughs> you just rake in the war score like nobody's business. And you don't have to get messy with the war and you know occupations and dying. <laughs> I don't wanna have I don't wanna have my guys die. I don't mind destroying stuff though. So yeah, so we'll just sit here and we'll bomb the crap out of the uh, North African territories. And Germany will go worry about the occupation and lose his troops. I'm just gonna sit here and bomb the crap out of them. I mean, I can invade, but I don't want to lose any more soldiers than I have already. Which is almost a mil. So let's just bomb the crap out. Look at that war score go. Boom. Big war score. Ah, uh, we weren't able to take Gibraltar. Gibraltar, very, very strong. The assault crew has failed to take Gibraltar. Damn, even six marines can do it. Hmm. I wonder if I should try to combine like a paratrooper drop, you know, together with the uh, marine assault. Yeah, I would have to start building paratroopers first though. I don't have any at all.
Maybe I should do some strategic bombing of Gibraltar. Maybe that would make it easier to take. They're unassigned. Okay. Let's reassign it then. Oh, before we do carriers, there was a tech that I wanted. Oh yes, the naval vision. There we go.
division build. Uh, I've got two kinds of uh, standard divisions for my infantry. I've got my wall infantry, which is your standard wall holding infantry. Yes, yeah, so over here I have eight infantry and two artillery, followed by a lot of supports. Yeah, I do have the mass assault tree, so I do have a discount on infantry combat with minus 0.4 per unit. So basically, I can put 20% more infantry in the same combat with. Yeah, so I also have a puncher infantry which is to break enemy lines and these are very heavy on artillery so we've got 5 infantry, 4 rocket artillery and they take an exact combat width of 20 yep. before getting the mass assault tree completed I would have one less infantry in both of those yeah so before infantry, 4, four artillery and 7 infantry, 2 artillery for my wall holders That is my standard division build. I don't have any tanks. Well, I started building tanks, but yeah, I don't have any tanks yet. They're not fully trained. But this is my uh, tank setup. I got three modern tanks fully tricked out. I've got four mechanized infantry and I've got two modern SP artilleries. And of course, full set of supports. Pretty, pretty basic setup. Everything designed around a combat width of 20, so that uh, they would all be able to fit into the battle lines. I don't really use the rest. Uh, I, mean, I have a couple of uh, marines, but uh, they have failed in their one attack that I needed them for. So my marines kind of suck. I mean, general marines kind of suck anyway. They don't really have a lot of function, other than attacking across rivers and... Yeah, I mean, not useless, but not great. Yeah, just kind of normal. Not exceptional. I also just got paratroopers. I uh, haven't built any yet. I probably should because I want to test out how paratroopers work, which is uh, would be interesting to me. I'm gonna trick them all out with stuff and then I'm gonna fill them all with paratroopers up to a combat width of I don't know if I could go with 10 or if I go 20. I think 20 is a bit better. In which case I don't need that, do I? I just need one row here. It's better to have a row, a stack of 20 for a combat width of 20. I mean, yeah, I mean, stack of 10, 10 regiments so I can get a 20 combat width. Maybe better, maybe more effective. Yeah, let's do that. Oops, no, not Marines, Paratroopers. Get all the supports in as well. Can't save? Well... Well dang, I can't save it. It's an issue. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough points. Alright, let's see if I can do it if I drop these. I can always add it later, I guess. Um... I really like the field hospital, so I'm going to drop one engineering company for now. And that's 50. At, uh, that, oh, I can add. No, I can't. Yeah, new battle group is 25 points, so yeah. Alright, so my paratroopers are kind of like that. 
10 combat with and a bunch of supports and I'm building a whole bunch of paratroopers I don't have a lot of manpower left so I don't really want to push too much anyway maybe this is fine shouldn't marine be on boats yeah they are on boats but they're still quite crap so the one use I had them was I wanted to I wanted to do a naval invasion of Gibraltar they attacked and then they failed and then they came back so yeah so they are one they are one purpose <laughs> that I, I recruited them for to take Gibraltar did not even work they were defeated so I'm gonna try paratroopers and marines combined assault onto Gibraltar and I am bombing the crap out of Gibraltar right now yeah there you go they have zero infrastructure and zero airfields now so maybe we can actually take it this time maybe I don't know yet but uh, we'll find out soon enough All right, I'm gonna move a couple of I can't use Casablanca I need nearest airbase that's not it. Why can't I use this one? Isn't this one one of mine? One of ours? No, apparently not. That's not either. Well, may have to use this. Which is also not one of ours. Crap. Uh, I already used these. All of these. Oh, we can use France, yeah? Yeah, you, let's use south of France. Languedoc. Let's see if my 400 jet fighters are in range of Gibraltar. I hope so, because... If they can't get in range, then it's kind of annoying. Yeah, we are just destroying convoys left and right. Yeah, for these guys, they're trying to supply them, but I am destroying all convoys that come this way. My goodness, how many convoys have I destroyed? This is just fantastic. Once the paratroopers are built, we can do some fun stuff. It should end up here. Alright, let's have a look at the jet fighters that I just assigned. Can we reach the Iberian region? Yeah, it should be, it's kind of nearby. And, uh, what are we doing? In some bombing going on and these guys will do air superiority and intercepts Right now, the objective is to take Gibraltar. 
Not absolutely necessary, but I would like to to do it. The Americans have a huge army in here now. Let's see, these are 50, not 60, 70, 80, 90, about 100, about 100 or so divisions run here. Oh wait, there's another 30, 30 plus, so yeah, we're looking at an entire division, I mean entire invasion force of like 130 to 150 divisions, which is very, very sizable. Yeah, but we're cutting off all their supplies, so it's very hard for them to conduct a war when they have no ammunition. Lots of their supplies are getting cut out by my convoy raiders, so that should help us a lot. Okay, where are my paratroopers? I really want my paratroopers involved in this assault. I want to know if it can be done. Gibraltar has been a pain in the butt, and the AI does not even at attempt to take it, so... Ooh, it looks like they fixed it. And we blew it up again. Aha! Yeah, keep those uh, keep those airfields down so they can't resist us. Keep those bombs dropping. Did you manage to take Malta? Yes, I did. Ah, uh, you're doing the same thing as I did, I guess. <laughs> you're trying to take Malta. I finally did take Malta. Now, this is this is strange. There is an actual bug that lets you do naval invasions without actually uh, technically being able to do it. So, if you want to do naval invasions, you should actually take this. Yeah, so this actually is the one that's supposed to enable you to enable invasions. So if you don't take this, you're te technically not allowed to do it. But somehow you can still game the system to do it. So you can still do naval invasions, except you can't take Malta, you can't take Gibraltar, you, you can't take the single region islands. But if you take two region islands, you can still do naval invasions. It's a like, bug, you can get around it. What land do I currently own? Plenty. Um, yeah, so we captured... We started with Yugoslavia. and No, we started with Hungary. Yeah, we took Hungary first. And then we took Yugoslavia. And then we took Greece. And before we could take Bulgaria... Um, well, we declared war on Bulgaria. And then Bulgaria joined the Comintern. So that put us at war with the, the Russians. And then we were losing for the longest time. And then finally, we won. And I took most of the land in Russia. And then after that, uh, it took a long time, but then I finally decided to invade the UK. And I sent 10, 10 divisions. 10 divisions was all I needed to take the UK. Because they were very weak at that point, so... Yeah, just 10 divisions and all of them were dead. You had that and the second I agree with it? Okay, well if you have that, then you have to make sure that you have naval superiority all along the path that your, your 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 invasion will take. So if you're invading Malta from Sicily, then you just need this region, naval superiority in this region. If you're coming from say Greece, then you might need the you know Mediterranean as well as this. So yeah. So you see you see the, 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 the sea zones? You need naval superiority in all of the sea zones from your source to your target. So from where you're starting from and from where you're going to invade, 
you need naval superiority. Now there are two ways to do this. You can either have naval or aerial superiority, but aerial superiority doesn't seem to work very well. Um, it says so underneath. Right? Um, when you try to do a naval invasion, they'll ask you uh, to get either naval or aerial superiority over the, the sea zones connecting to where you're planning to attack. But I've tried using airplanes to do it. They only sometimes work. I don't know why, but sometimes they work. Sometimes you can't get enough planes there and then you don't have aero superiority. So the best way to do it is naval. Just one ship that doesn't get destroyed will be enough. So just one ship in here doing a mission and you can do your naval invasion. Who is my enemy now, Germany? Not really. Uh, I didn't. I didn't declare war on Germany. They are my allies right now. So my, my enemy is just the USA. I am in the Axis. So yeah, just the USA. Pretty easy right now. Because uh, almost everything important has been kind of done. So kind of easy mode right now. So we are, you know, Romania is currently a superpower. As you can see, the number of factories I have is ridiculous. I have like double the factories of the United States, so I can easily outproduce them. Problem is I don't have a manpower count now. So I don't have the manpower to, to match up to them, but I do have the production capability. But we are superpower, we are 874 factories, so that's not a superpower, I don't know what is. So all these bits over here, these bits over here, even little bits of China, because we participated in the Chinese war, helping the Japanese. This area over here, and the Balkans, and little bits of Scandinavia-ish area. Yeah, all these are part of the Greater Romanian Empire of Legionary Romania. All of that stuff. All of this stuff. Yep. So huge swaths of land that we have since developed. So we've run out of supplies. It's hard to buy oil right now, so I can't really build more planes or ships or whatever. Because even if I try, I can't get enough oil to, to do it. Most of the time anyway. Keep running out of oil. I need some more steel, so let me sort that out. Yeah, so my supply of oil is kind of iffy. Everyone's kind of run out. Unless I buy in smaller quantities than 8, which I have been doing. So a couple of them still have some oil, but... Uh, it's basically run out. So I can't really increase my production of ships and planes much more. Even though I have an insane 122 dockyards. Which is pretty damn insane. And 332 military factories. So I can I can outproduce any any guy in the game. I think Germany only has... Yeah, they have less. They have uh, 550 factories, give or take. Yeah, let's call it 600 then. Yeah, let's call it 600 with the naval dockyards. We have 874, so we're just a little bit ahead. 20-30% ahead of Germany. But we can never match up to Germany because Germany has 864 infantry divisions. We can never go head to head with Germany. We might be able to sneak in and steal stuff, but yeah, head to head it's just impossible. It shows here as 233 divisions, but the fact is we have less than mm, another 80 divisions less than this, about 150. That's because the Polish army has volunteered themselves to us, so we have control of the Polish army. We also have control over some of the Turkish army, some of the Italian, some Japanese. So basically, uh, yeah, our army division numbers consists of uh, armies from all over the Axis Empire. You know, they've all sent volunteers and they basically want me to control their armies for them. Yeah. That's
that's basically it. Japan has grown, yeah, but uh, you see in most games, actually Japan has failed. In this game as well, Japan actually actually failed. So they were they were beaten to a pulp by Russia. They were pushed back. China defeated them. So China took all of the the mainland uh, land from Japan, and Russia took the other bits. So I had to come over and help in the, the war against uh, China because China was kicking Japan's butt all over the place. So the only reason you see them with so many territories all over is because they just managed to win through someone else's help. And because they lost a lot of casualties, they get a very high war score and they can take more stuff. Yeah, so they gained by losing a lot. When I came over and helped out, I had a very low war score because although I was winning the battles, um, I wasn't getting the victory points. So kind of, you know, Japan kind of ninja and just stole all the victory points. And they had a lot of casualties. So most of China went up to Japan. Also in the remaining war with the with the Allies, you can see that America has lost nearly six million troops. They have six point four sixty five percent war score, primarily because they've lost so many people. And the UK, I don't think they're very high up. Yeah, the UK has 3% war score. They lost close to 2 mil. But yeah, these are the majors. Most of them have been beaten pretty badly. Yeah. Australia has lost about 800,000. 800, Ooh, got that now. I now need the last one. Okay, so yeah, so they've suffered greatly. And as for us, Germany has lost two and a half mil, give or take. And we have lost about about a mil. And we have 84% of the war score against the the rest of the empire. So we are we're rocking. Yeah, we're completely rocking this. So I'm planning on the invasion of the United States. I'm actually fine keeping the US tied up over here. If their divisions are tied up over here, they're forced to keep reinforcing, they're forced to bring supplies, it ties them up. So I'm pretty happy with the with how it's going in the African front here. They're not gaining ground, but they're completely held up. And you can see they're like oh, 130 to 150 divisions tied up here, so it's all good for me. In fact, I've even helped out keeping the stalemate by bombing the crap out of North Africa. So I've got strategic bombers from Malta who are just bombing the entire African coastline every day. I just bombed the shit out of them. So see, as you can see, all the infrastructure has been completely destroyed. Damage levels far for, for and aircraft damage levels far for, for airfields. So they have no they have no way to do anything. All the airfields are destroyed. All the infrastructure is destroyed. They can't get supplies. Everybody just can't move. <laughs> They're all stuck. As you can see, it's heavy attrition everywhere. Yeah. So let's just keep them in that state. I don't want them beaten because then America will find a new front line to, to attack. And that could be one of my front lines. So I don't really, don't really want them taking attention off the North African coast. And as I plot <laughs> my uh, US East Coast naval invasion, yeah. I'll let them mess around in Africa. Non-consequential because, quite frankly, even if they took the whole of North Africa, not a lot of value there. Nobody really cares. So, <laughs> they're fighting over a piece of desert. That has very little strategic value right now. Also, I'm probably the biggest naval power in the game in a couple of years because 
I've got 122 dockyards, which is insane. An insane number of dockyards. So I'm just going to outproduce everyone else. And they have so many. So many, so many, so many ships. Yeah, not that I actually need it now. It looks like probably isn't necessary. Yeah, let's see how many troops the US still has left. Yeah, so they got 100 to 200. So I'm thinking at least half of their army is tied up in North Africa right now. At least half. Yeah, so I've doubled the dockyards that the, the US has. So that should give me a pretty nice naval advantage in a couple of years when I actually catch up. Because they do have a several hundred ships right now, so... How many do I have? I don't know. Let's have a look. I've got several hundred ships too. And several thousand planes. Yeah, so I'm very clearly a superpower right now. And we're going to take down the USA very shortly. It's a question of how. I'm trying to trying to find an interesting way to take down the US. I've done naval invasions and that was fun. I've never done nuclear, you know, I've never nuked the US. Maybe we should try like nuking the crap out of them. <laughs> Just like I bombed the crap out of North America, the UK. We could nuke the crap out of the US. That could be fun. Yeah, we could work towards that. Yeah, I figure I may as well fulfill that because uh, there's nothing else I need anyway. Alright, let's try nuking the US and then let's see how it goes. Alright, my paratroopers should be done by now. Where are my paratroopers? No, they're not done. I don't see any paratroopers. Well, nah, they're not done yet. Uh, 10 of June, okay. So another month and a, and a week. Enemy naval invasions targeting Peloponnese. Okay. Bases low in supply, naval combat. Oh, they're targeting these islands, but how are they gonna make it down? We have everything defended. I should split some up and They're not going to make it in, man. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I highly doubt they will be able to make it in. But, we'll never know. Yeah, we're totally wrecking all of the convoys coming. Great man, this is like convoy farming. <laughs> we just we just need to patrol this area and the, the convoys will just get destroyed. Which is fantastic. I guess we shouldn't take the Gibraltar Straits, because if we do, 
then we'd kind of block off the whole area. And I'm sure that the US will get crushed if they do. I'd rather not they get destroyed yet. Better that they get tied up here. We're just completely destroying their convoys. How they get supplies? I don't think they will. Not when I, my convoys are, my convoy raiders are destroying everything. All right, so. There's a justification against us. The United Kingdom, which, by the way, I have just capitulated, is trying to justify against us. I don't know if it's a bug or something. It's not quite possible. But yet, it is being announced. And we need more oil. We're not going to have much oil left, so. Gotta trade with the, the guys who only have six left. Oh, yeah, Germany just for a second, seven, and then it went down to four. You must have built something. Yeah, so oil supplies are very limited because we have drunk up all the oil. Yeah. Plus, we're Romania, we start with some oil fields, so we've been drinking up all the oil. And it's because we have some massive plane production and ship production capability. Tons of ships getting made. And tanks. Lots of tanks. Although I have just started deploying my first tank divisions, I have been building tanks for ages. Tons of bombers, tons of fighters as well. Yep, and mechanized. Although I don't think I need that many more. Alright, so we are on massive surpluses for practically everything that we use. Now I've not been, I've actually never done a, a paratrooper mission before, so I wanna, I wanna try attacking the United States with paratroopers, and then we'll do some marine invasions, and, and then we'll finish off by nuking the crap out of them. Yeah, because these are all things I've never done before, so let's give it a try. Never quite liked nuking because. I don't know, why, you, why would you want to destroy everything that you can capture? Why destroy what you can use, right? But hey, the game is going to end anyway, so we may as well, you know, end it in a blaze of nuclear fallout. Did you say nuking? Yes, I did say nuking. Um, I haven't done, I haven't even started down the line of technology yet. There's so many other things to research, so probably gonna get down that line. Yeah, it's gonna take forever though. But we can always play on high speed because, quite frankly, we're not involved in the battles right now and not a whole lot going on. That's gonna take like what uh, four years to get down, so it'll be like 1951 when we finally beat them. We can beat them right now if we try. But that would be kind of boring. Oh, what am I doing with carrier? I don't think I really want carriers. Let's start down the nuclear path. Yeah, let's start nuking him. Why not, right? Never done that, so let's find out what it is. I think it just reduces national unity. So it should. 
make it much easier to capture the United States. It's already pretty easy to attack the United States. Cap capture most of the East Coast, and then you just head right in. I don't think I don't think they last very long. They capitulate pretty quickly, even at 80%, because most of the victory points are over on the East Coast. So easy peasy. Might have gone up a couple of divisions. They also have a ridiculous number of planes. I wonder if I should just go around conquering all these minor nations that are not in the war. Like, you know, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Xinjiang, Tibet. I mean, I could easily do that. I wouldn't need to, but... Why not, right? Where does Mexico stand in all this? I don't know. Let's have a look. I think Mexico is... Mexico's probably allies. Let's have a look. Yep, they're allies. I wonder if we could stage a coup over there by just converting them. You know, they're not that heavily democratic, so... We could mess with their politics. We have nothing to do with our political power now anyway, so let's uh, boost party popularity. Hell, let's do it in the US as well. Why not? <laughs> let's mess with the politics in the US. Hey, who else can we mess with? Guys, oh, they're democratic. Let's mess with their politics as well. All right, let's find people that we can mess with. Argentine Republic. All right, let's mess with you too. How many can we actually afford to maintain? Ooh, that's quite a bit. Plus 0.19 per day. I think that's fine. We can't do any more though. That would put us negative, which means we'll have a limited timeline before we have to stop messing with them. Let's Canada's role in all this. They have three infantry divisions. I think their, 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 their manpower must have run out. They do have a lot of ships. Yeah, ships and planes. Well, not really a lot. They actually have a lot of production, but I think they're just out of manpower. I don't really know about Canada, Canada's manpower, but uh, it sure looks like they're out of troops, so... Okay, how about Norway? Norway's democratic. Sweden is democratic, but not in the Allies. Smart guys didn't join the Allies, because we would just run over them. Finland is no faction, but quite heavily fascist, I think. Yeah, somebody must have been influencing him. Oh, it's me. I have been influencing them. <laughs> and I don't even remember. Yeah. Conquer the world as gypsies. <laughs> Come on, man. That's just so racist. Why, why do Romanians all have to be gypsies? Come on. <laughs> I'm not Romanian, but... Why does Romania have to be all gypsies? Oh yes, Netherlands. I have been influencing them for a very long time. Oh look at that, 62% fascist. Very nice. They haven't flipped. They're still democratic, so... We'll have to figure out how to get them to flip. I don't want to attack them. So they are my supply of rubber, so yeah. I like my supply of rubber. Let's see if I can get them. Hmm. I don't want to stage a coup. I could. They have a majority. I mean, they have a majority. They should be winning. But yeah, the problem with the coups is that they always start in those yeah, dear colonies. 
there's just basically no way for a coup to affect their mainland. I don't know what's gonna take to flip them. I wish there was a victory point map mode so it's not so difficult to find. Where are the victory points? Okay, Amsterdam and okay, some dots. How many dots? Three dots, okay, so Amsterdam's forty. The Hague is ten. Rotterdam is fifteen and Eindhoven is five. Yeah, it's a lot of points. And if you look to their colonies, probably worth nothing. Alright, so. Maidan is worth one. And this is worth one. It's worth five. It's worth three. That's worth one. Yeah, they'll never... This is worth three. Worth one. Yeah, they'll never... Even if you capture the entire colony, I mean, all the all their colonies, you just don't have enough to win the civil war. So starting a civil war out here just makes no sense at all. I gotta try to get Netherlands to flip to fascism on their own. Because if I try to do a coup, it will never work. It'll never work. I'd love to flip Netherlands because they are my source of uh, rubber. And I would just want to ensure a steady supply of rubber and that nothing changes. So a coup would not fit in with those expectations. Ah, uh, these are not done. Why? Why are these not done? Are we missing equipment? We can't be missing equipment got everything. Yeah, it's just some training time, right? Why is it now 25 November? I thought it was uh, June. Oh, I know why, because that's a second batch of them. Um, well, they want to build a second batch, but whatever. Now we have a second batch of uh, paratroopers being formed up. I guess we can use them in the invasion of the US. Alright, so now we should have our paratroopers done. Alright, so that's them. Those are four paratroopers. We'll put them in the same division 